If you're starting or growing a YouTube channel, then you know how important it is for the YouTube thumbnail to be amazing. I mean, it's the first thing someone is going to see and it should entice them to click on it. Now, sometimes these can be difficult to make if you're using a complex or difficult to use software. And the other day, my friend was telling me he was having a tough time trying to create a thumbnail with some depth that he had a cut out of himself. He had a guitar he was giving away. He needed to make sure the stage was in the background and all of these things needed to blend together in terms of depth and what's in front and behind and text and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna make a very similar thumbnail and show you how I would go through that process now if you're just finding out about Kittle I'm so glad you are watching this video go ahead and sign up using the link in the description it's completely free for you to try and you can follow along with this YouTube thumbnail tutorial so let's get started all right once you click new project we're gonna make it 1280 by 720 that is a YouTube thumbnail standard size pretty much all the time that's what you're going to use and then i'm going to go over to the photos panel and because of what i was describing earlier i'm going to try to find a concert setting now there's a lot here i'm going to start with this one right here of course you could be using your own images i'm just giving you kind of some tips for how you would orchestrate some thumbnails here in Kittle. So you're probably wanting to use your own images, but I'm going to use all stock photography to show you the same kind of process. So once I have this in place, we have adjustments over here that we can make. And what I'm going to do first is add a little bit of blur because this is going to be the background to our thumbnail. So it's not super important. It just needs to be obvious that there's a concert going on, right? This was a guitar giveaway that I was explaining earlier. So this is fitting the bill. There's a concert happening or something like that. So there's our background image now I've locked it in the layers panel so that we can't move it around or touch it now let's go back to photos again you're probably going to use a cut out of yourself or something but what I'm gonna just do is find someone who looks excited this guy right here looks perfect I'm gonna go ahead and add him to the board here bring it up and now there's this giant red background when I'm gonna hit AI background remover get that out of there and it is a perfect cutout now this is going to be great for adjusting with our adjustments now some general guidelines for youtube thumbnails is that everything kind of needs to be pretty bright and pretty contrasty now so now because of the bottom of the body being cut off it's perfect for this area right here so now i've got it in the bottom right which looks like he's coming out of the thumbnail side and that's going to be perfect now what i'm going to do is add some shadow super easy to do with our new shadow object shadow tool and then i can go over here and easily change the color now what i'm going to do is color color drop this red here on the arm to make it look like the same sh shade color and then I'm gonna add some blur now you could change some angle and add offset to move the shadow around but I think maybe just having like super minimal offset um, is probably gonna work just fine for this I don't really need it to be super super angled or anything I just need some depth coming off of the YouTube thumbnail okay so now we have a cutout of a person we have a background now we need a guitar so let's go and type in electric guitar again if you're actually giving away a guitar or a product or something you're probably using your own photos but we have a lot of really nice options I want something that's a little bit more flat like this one right here boom add that in I'm gonna do the same exact process that I did with the person which is moving this over and hit AI background remover and then get the background out of here and then once that's done now I can start playing with this and I'm gonna also add the same object shadow so now I can go to color and since I already have the red boom I just click the red like that and now it is applied to this this guitar now a little trick is if you copy this and paste it you get double shadow okay so I've just copied and pasted it twice and so now I can group these two together with command G and then now I have a whole guitar right there that I can move around then I'm gonna go ahead and label this as cutout so now we have our guitar now we have our person as well I'm gonna go ahead and size this up and move it over to where I think it makes sense now it's in front of the person but let's go ahead and right click and bring him to the front just like that so now the guitar is kind of hovering behind him hey real quick if you're getting value out of this YouTube thumbnail tutorial let me know by hitting the thumbs up button and then hitting that red subscribe button it'll take you just a second and then let me know down in the comments what other kinds of tutorials do you want to see what are you currently struggling with and where can Kittle help you so let me know down in the comments 
and let's get back to the tutorial. And I'm starting to see that we're having a little bit of a lack of contrast with the background. And so what I want to try to do is lower the opacity of the background just so that the uh, the darker images like the guitar and the person here are kind of coming through. I can play with all of these different pieces to try to get it to make sense. I'm still not in love with it, but let's move on to text for now. So we're going to have live guitar giveaway as our three words on this thumbnail. So I'm going to use an adventurer font. Uh, live, I think, is going to just be the smallest word because guitar giveaway is the big attention grabber, right? So now I've got live here, and of course we need it to be a brighter color. Black is not going to work, so we're going to just use white for now. And I'm going to angle it. I'm going to angle all of this text just to kind of have some excitement. Now let's add some more text, and we're going to go with guitar. So live guitar giveaway, One another key uh, component of YouTube thumbnails is to try to keep your words to around two to three. Of course, sometimes this does not work. Now I'm using a condensed font for this, and some of them are really cool, like this one where you can have slants and weights as a variable font, but generally condensed fonts are really great for YouTube thumbnails because you see you can fit a lot of letters, a lot of words in a small space. Now we're still running out of space here below because I think this condensed font is even too uh, long. So I'm going to try to go through and find a different one. I think this one's nice, North Road. It kind of goes with the curveness of the word live. So now we have live guitar and giveaway. Now sometimes you have this error with the transformation. All you have to do is hit edit and drag it and boom, there is the rest of our word there. And I'm making sure that it's still lined up in the same angle as these other two. And now we have this kind of cool like staircase pyramid format here with the text, which is working out nice. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, live guitar giveaway. This definitely makes sense with the rest of the images here. And then to give it a little bit of depth, I'm going to give these letters, these words, some shadow. Now we have all these shading effects here, and I'm just going to click the first one, which is drop shadow, make it black. And then what I'm going to do is go through and give all of these some drop shadow so that the words stand out on the thumbnail. It just makes it even easier to read. Now I'm going to bring our characters and our object up to the front. And I'm not really loving the red anymore. I'm kind of feeling a same kind of orange yellowish glow that matches the text. I want that to blend a little bit better. So you can see here down in the bottom, I'm just moving the colors around, testing a couple different ones until I find one that I like. And I think this is working out pretty nicely. Now, again, the background's just not working. So let's find a different one that'll give us higher contrast. Let's try this one right here. Now I'm going to select the current background and I'm just going to turn it off. Then I'm going to bring this one all the way up and now watch what happens when I right click and hit use as background. Boom. It immediately snaps to the background and it's perfectly there. So now I can still go up here and adjust it if I want to with all of the same settings and adjustments that you have here. You can increase the contrast like that and I think that looks like a bit of a better thumbnail. Lots of contrast using that orange yellow on a thumbnail really converts well and I think this is going to stand out. Now one way to test this is with this website right here where you can actually upload your thumbnail create a title right here and you can start to see a preview of what it would look like in YouTube. You can even choose a competitor category. Now it's a little bit limited right now uh, but let's go ahead and choose music because this is related, related to music and you can see how your your thumbnail stands out amongst the rest. Uh, maybe not the exact competition, but you still get an idea for what it looks like. So here's what it would look like a little bit bigger on your homepage, and you can even see what it looks like on mobile, and I'll link this tool down for you to use. So you want to use a couple of these principles when making your thumbnails, and as you saw, it's super easy to do right in Kittle. So I hope you give it a try and take your thumbnails to the next level. Now, if you want to see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're going to enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.